Hello, my dear friends. Now, see, in this session, we will focus on resolving power of grating. Now, we know that what is meant by grating. Grating means what? It is n number of n number of lines on glass, and that is been used for the diffraction of run of a diffraction. Now, see, what is the resolving power of grating? Then, so we define it is the ratio of ratio of two quantities the first one the ratio of wavelength of of any spectral line to the wavelength we can say wavelength difference wavelength difference between the first line that is been here this one the spectral line between this line above line and its adjacent or neighboring line we can say and adjacent line so that why we are choosing this or such a that or so that these two lines appears to be these two lines appears to be just a result just what a result so the definition is what it is the ratio of wavelength of any spectral line that means you can choose any of the line here suppose if i'll draw one line over here so this one suppose this is a line light wave here let its wavelength be suppose lambda and then we have another one this one there is another spectral line this one or instead of that or the lines again because we have a line say like this one because this is a line spectral line these are the, there are two lines so the wavelength of this first line this one suppose the wavelength is lambda and wavelength of this adjacent spectral line let it be lambda plus d lambda so that means for these two lines they are differ in the wavelengths and now we are defining the resolving power for grating is what it is the ratio of wavelength of any spectral line suppose lambda and the difference between the wavelengths of these two lines so here we can write the equation as this resolving power of grating will be lambda divided by see the difference between these two lines or so the wavelength difference is what here i can write this lambda plus d lambda minus lambda so here this lambda and lambda will get cancelled so the difference of wavelength between these two spectral lines will be d lambda so here i can write d lambda so this is the equation of resolving power of grating that is lambda divided by d lambda now we will derive an expression for this lambda by d lambda we draw one diagram over here see suppose first of all here i'll mark the grating like this suppose this is grating like this now here we will choose the incident light so here i can draw single incident light for single slit here this one first one and so on here we can draw such a n number of lines for n number of slits now suppose i'll choose the middle one suppose see the direct image of this line will be a straight line so here i'll draw over a straight line this one so this direct line will be this means or this line or along this line will get a direct image here i'll write direct image but as we know the criteria that the first minima of first line has to fall on the principal maxima of another so here i'll draw the direction this one by green line so this will be what this will be the here i'll write the overlapping of overlapping of first minima first minima of lambda lambda and maxima of lambda plus d lambda we can choose anything so here this will see the first line so the first minima of this lambda and the principal maxima of this lambda plus d lambda so that point of when these two will overlap each other definitely will get the uh, resolved image or just a resolved image so now see here i'll write this as this is grating and this is incident light so to derive the expression now see here i'll write few equations here we'll consider suppose the principal maxima is here i'll write the equation for c the mth principal maxima of here we have choose the principal maxima of lambda plus d lambda so here i'll write the mth principal maxima of light 
having wavelength lambda plus d lambda along the direction will choose the theta m plus let d theta m again d theta m is the difference between those two lines angular separation so e is given by so now equation will be what it will be simple the for the equation or the condition for principal maxima and that is of again mth order it will be a plus b that is grating element multiplied by sine of the angle now see here angle is theta m plus d theta m is equal to m into wavelength so here wavelength is what it is lambda plus d lambda if you remember we have already studied this one that in grating the condition for nth principal maxima there the condition was a plus b into sin theta equal to m into lambda but here the angle is theta m plus d theta m so here i substitute this angle as theta m plus d theta m and then here instead of only lambda here wavelength is lambda plus d lambda so we'll mark this equation as equation number 1 now see we have found out the equation or we have written the equation for principal maxima of lambda plus d lambda now we'll write the equation for minima so now see here the equation for minima again minima will be of wavelength only lambda so here the equation for minima is what it is n into a plus b into again sin theta m will be equal to m lambda now see this one is the general equation but now here we have to find out the equation of minima for this lambda in the direction of theta m plus d theta m because when the direction will be same then and then they will coincide so here i'll write here for that purpose see for that purpose we have to substitute this theta m by theta m plus d theta m and this m will substitute this m that is order as m into n plus 1 as order is m into n plus 1 that will be the order now and now always remember for minima here we know that this m will take all the values except 0 comma n comma twice n and then so on remember this condition for minima only because if you put these values then this will become for principal maxima so here for this particular ray to be coincide with the mth principal maxima will put these values here so here i'll write therefore the equation of first minima of lambda wavelength lambda along now here the direction will be what theta m plus d theta m is given by now here will write the equation as c instead here n will be as it is this one again this a plus b grating element will be as it is into sin here instead of theta m will substitute by theta m plus d theta m is equal to again instead of this m here will substitute this m into n plus 1 into lambda see now now see here from equation 1 just focus on equation 1 this one the equation 1 here this a plus b into sin theta m plus d theta m is equal to m into lambda plus d lambda so here instead of writing this a plus b into sin theta m plus d theta m we can substitute the value as m into lambda plus d lambda correct so here instead of this will write this value so here i'll write therefore this will be n into it will become m into lambda plus d lambda is equal to here on right hand it will be as it is m into n plus 1 into lambda so here we can write from equation 1 now we'll solve this equation and then we'll find out the value of lambda by d lambda so here i'll multiply this equation i'll simplify it so it will be n into m 
into lambda plus this n into m into d lambda is equal to here on this side it will be m into n into lambda plus lambda so here on the both side these terms are same having equal sign so they will be cancel out so here i can write this lambda will be equal to this n into m into d lambda or we can write this equation as lambda upon d lambda is equal to m into n so but we know that what is meant by this lambda by d lambda lambda by d lambda is nothing but it is the resolving power so here i can write this resolving power of grating is equal to lambda by d lambda and is also equal to this m into n so this is the equation for resolving power of grating now see here we'll write the dependent quantities or the dependence of this so here i'll write see from this equation we can easily say that here resolving power of grating see it is what first of all it increases with order of spectrum it increases with what order of spectrum see order of spectrum means this m always remember m will give you the order of spectrum then second one see this resolving power of grating it also depends on this capital n so here i'll write again this resolving power increases with see n means what these are the number of lines these are the number of lines on grating so that is here in bracket i can write that is capital n so if you increase either order of spectra ultimately the resolving power will also increase and the second one if we increase this particular number of lines on grating definitely there will be a increase in this resolving power and third one here we can write one more term that this resolving power of grating it is independent of grating element so here i'll write independent on grating element and we know that what is meant by grating element grating element is nothing but a plus b so here in this equation there is no term of a plus b so here we can say that resolving power of grating it is independent on grating element it is what independent on grating element so this is all about the resolving power of grating so remember this one is the quite simple one in your examination there will be questions like what do you mean by resolving power of grating or how do we increase or you increase the resolving power of grating so that question will be either for two or three marks so you simply have to draw this once first of all write the definition and then this small diagram and this this one derivation so ultimately you will get the resolving power of grating in terms of order of spectrum and number of lines on the grating thank you so much